In this tutorial, we will see the enhanced operations in IDEA Statica connection. A typical end plate connection consists of a plate welded to the beam. Then the beam bolts to the supporting beam or column on site. Here we have two profiles, one column and a beam. Now if you want to create a beam to column connection with an end plate, click on operation and then select end plate. In this way, the end plate connection will automatically be created. In brief, manufacturing operation end plate connects member using end plate to the flange or web of another member. If I switch to the side view, you can easily see that the dimensions of the end plate are insufficient. In order to change these, let's introduce 40 to all the dimensions here, top, left, bottom and right. Also you can change the connection type as welded, and then all the bolts will be disappeared. You need to select the beam as member 1, and the column as the connected to. You can change the material and the thickness. Moreover, you can change the bolt quality and the type. If you change these layers, the number and location of the bolts will change. Here we have doluble fillet weld at the welds part, and the thickness of the welds are 3 mm. As the second enhanced operation, we use shifted end plate operation. It is a beam to beam connection type so you need to have two beams at least to perform this operation. Here we have mainly three plates. The first is shifted end plate, the second is beam end plate and the third is stiffener. If I switch to the side view, we can easily see all these plates. Stiffener is on here, inside of the profile. Beam end plate is on the right hand side, welded to the secondary beam. Between these two is, the shifted end plate and you can change the material and thickness of these three plates. In addition, you can add chamfered corners to the stiffener. As we mentioned before, all the welds of the flanges, webs, plates and stiffeners can be changed. Another important manufacturing operation is stub. This operation creates a plate-to-plate -plate connection on member and a part to be connected to another member. You need to apply the cut operation after stub, to connect such member to another one. If the name of the beam at the right is M2, you need to select member as M2. You can change the position of this plate to plate connection by introducing a new value to X position line. For example, let's write here 600. Then the position of the connection will change. Similarly, you can change the connection type as welded and the dimensions of the plates. Likewise, type and location of the bolts and welds can be changed. Perhaps, one of the most important point here is to select stub 1 as member, here in cut operation. If you change it with another member, you cannot generate the connection properly. As the fourth one, we use plate to plate slash member splice to connect two consequent members. These members are usually two beams. And the beams can also be inclined, like in this example. All the members have to be ended. To connect two beams inclined, you need to change the gamma, pitch, for example minus 15. You can offset the profiles in three axes, and it is also possible to align the profiles according to the member plates. Lastly, we can change the model type as fixed support, roller, or pin connection. The next is splice. Two members connected by the plate-to-plate -plate operation, can also be connected by the splice operation. In order to do this in this example, Let's right-click on plate-to-plate -plate operation name and then delete it. Then open the manufacturing operations window and, click on splice. Then we have it. By default, you will see the connection on the top flange. Of course Idea Statica lets you change the position of the plate whether at the flanges or the web. You can do this by clicking on the drop-down list, here in member line. As in many operations, you can change the material, thickness location, dimension and offset of the plate. In this operation, you can place the bolts regularly, as well as staggered or staggered short. Another important operation is gusset. You can use this operation to connect bracing members to other members, or to the corner of two members. Sometimes, bracing member can also be connected directly to the flange of the member. Here in this example, the bracing member M2 is connecting to the column and the beam from the corner. In the data window, M2 has to be chosen as member. In the new plate section, you need to specify the members that you want to connect the plate to, except the bracing member. 
So these are M1 as the column, and M3 as the beam. The order is not so important. You can change the shape of the gusset plate as rectangular, triangular, or chamfered. The gap specifies the distance between the bracing member and the corner. You can change the welds of the plate and the member, as we did before. The next operation is connecting plate. It is mostly similar with the gusset, but it has some extra features. For example, if you want to connect two members with a group of plates, like in this example, you can use it. Here we have two plates. The first is the gusset plate which is welded to the column, and the second is connecting plate that is connected to the horizontal member, via a circular cap plate. The gusset plate and the connecting plate are bolted. So what can we change in the data window? As expected, we can change all the geometrical properties of the plates like thickness, width or depth. Then also type of the connection as cap plate, notched plate or notched member. This connection does not have to be bolted. We can change it as welded. Connecting plate operation provides us more than one bolt and in the same time, we can change the positioning of the bolts. A fin plate operation connects a column and a beam or two beams which are perpendicular to each other, by using a connecting plate to the flange or web of the other member. Fin plate connections mostly transfer shear loads. So, in order to generate a fin plate connection, let's click on operation and fin plate, beam to beam or column, button. Then the fin plate connection will automatically be generated. Let's look at this, in detail. By default, we have a connecting plate welded to the column and 8 bolts. You can change the place of the plate as bottom flange or top flange, by changing member part. And also you can change the location of the connecting plate by changing location, as front or rear. The connection type can be welded or bolted as before. And the gap, changes the distance between the column and the beam. The remaining parts in the data window are about the geometry of the plate and the type of welds. The cleat is quite similar to the fin plate, it has an angled plate. Other main differences are as follows, first, you can select or change the profile of the angled connection member. Second, here we have two extra connection type. These are, bolted to connected to profile, that means the column in this model, and bolted to member profile, that also means bolted to the beam. At the bolts part, in the data window, if you uncheck same on both legs you can change the order of the bolt groups individually. As the last enhanced operation, we use base plate operation. Let's perform it on this model. To do this, click on operation and select base plate. When you do this, you will see an error here on the screen. First click on BP1 and change member as M1, here. Then we will have another warning on the screen and it says, the operation base plate cannot be applied on the continuous member. So let's click on the column and change the geometrical type as ended. Now we have it, but we need to change the positioning. To do this, change gamma, pitch of M1 as 90. Then the positioning is correct, but the base plate and the cleat is overlapping. To fix it, select the beam and write to the offset EZ, for example 400. So that is it. Here in the base plate operation, we can change mainly the base plate, anchors and the foundation block. The material, thickness and the dimensions of the base plate can be changed via base plate and offset sections, in the data window. The length, type and the location of the anchors can be changed in anchors section here. Lastly, we can change the concrete grade, dimensions and type of the concrete block, in foundation block.